Hey there, I'm Spike Shop, and let's play some more Final Fantasy 2. The Emperor's not wasting time on the likes of us, and orders some other guys to do it. Some pretty heavy boss music considering these are just normal enemies here. Slowly walking forward. Another preemptive strike. Not that I need it or anything. Oh wow, one survived. Best fix that. <laughs> Don't really want a unicorn horn, it just casts Basuna, which I already have anyways. Now he's gonna take us on himself. Another preemptive strike. The Emperor has some decent drops like a defender. But there he goes. The Wood Golem is immune to being warped away, so I'll just burn him to death. Not overly worried about that royal guard in the back. Kinda strange that the Emperor fight gets the lesser boss music while his normal minions just get the real boss music. That's the end of that. Eh, stun scroll. If you won't die, then why did you just die? Yep, and he died. We're heading back to Finn. Has ended and it's time to celebrate. What is Layla doing just hanging out beside the throne up there? I mean, it's just odd that they wouldn't move her or make her do something or anything really. Dark Knight has claimed himself as the new Emperor, aka Maria's brother Leon. She doesn't know who he is, even though we already asked about him. <laughs> it was way back at the beginning of the game we asked about him. Doesn't the game kind of show his portrait kind of shadowed out at some point? We can't reach the castle by foot. Pavel was boasting of his past entry into it, but no one knows for sure. Yeah, we were there, Layla. It's 
So if it wasn't enough of a hint, we gotta go talk to Pavel. As you can see, the whirlwind's gone now. No going back in there or anything. Pretty sure you could warp out if you needed to, but... I haven't done that in forever. <laughs> he doesn't really have anything to say, but here's Sid. And the cyclone messed him up pretty bad. Wonder why he decided to crash at Pavel's place anyways. The airship's fine. He'll let us use it until he gets better. <laughs> and he died. Bell says he realized he was dying and wanted us to take care of his airship for him. He glided into the castle roof with a knight. Well, oh, with a kite? What? <laughs> uh, thought he was gonna say he went with Sid when Sid was one of the white knights, but apparently not. Right. right. Well, we best go get our airship. It's pretty late in the game to be giving us an airship. There's only two dungeons left, I think. Just figured I'd show that there are, in fact, different enemies out on the world map as well. Nothing difficult or anything, but... A little different, anyways. Might want to rest up in town and sell your extra stuff, but I don't think I need to quite yet. I'm actually going to go to my ship. I'm pretty sure the ship that you can pay to take your places is um, up there as well. Yeah. Besides, you can't really use that ship because all the sh towns are destroyed. In this version, the ships look exactly the same. Our ship used to have its own unique sprite. Right now, the airship kind of moves slowly, but if you hit the circle button on this version, I think it's the B button on the, uh, uh, the original NES version, eventually, once you press it enough times, the airship will pick up its pace. There we go. Gonna head straight for the castle. Nope, that's not the right landing spot. Right here should be. Yeah, there we go. Again, emulator really doesn't like the airship, but won't be using it very much. As it's so late in the game. Well, could warp away the killer mantis and probably will after I kill the vampire -ets. The vampire -ets are pretty resistant to warp, banish, and transformations, but they're weak to fire, so no real need to worry about that.
really the enemies around here aren't anything special. I think they just expect you to spend a lot of time in this dungeon. It's a trap! Really, that's the only way to move on, so it's not a very good trap. Considering that you yourself would have to fall into it to get anywhere. Not to mention the fact that RPG heroes can survive falls of infinite height. Punches a pretty big hole in their plan right there. But, um... Ooh, what's here? A knife. Great treasure there. Yeah, second to last dungeon. Still getting first tier equipment that was junk even when it was new. Buckler. Nice. <laughs> Been running into stone golems and um and hectis as well. They're immune to being warped away and the such. But just been spamming holy at them, really. Gotta level it up, because it's gonna be the only attack spell that I have that'll work on the final boss. This is the one treasure I planned on getting in this place. It's the Thunder Spear, but it's guarded by a boss. A boss of sorts, anyways. He's undead, so... I'm not gonna try warping him away, or draining, or osmosing him. It's the Fallen Emperor. He's got some pretty good magic spells, but overall, nothing big. Weak to holy. Has a fair bit of HP, I guess. Or at least I think he's weak to holy. As you can see, he's got an instant death spell, but... Not nearly high enough level to work on me. Wow, he even got a turn in before I did there. Must have a good bit of agility to manage that. He should be done soon, though. Yep, yeah, there he goes. He also dropped some decent stuff, if I remember correctly. But, didn't get anything that time. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna call it at that for this video. I'm Spike Shot. And I'll see you next time. Laters.